10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Injection fell. Ass up, damn! Out. out the bed. If anybody is asleep up. this late on the I'm West, so they're not employed. On the West Coast, yeah. Oh, my actors and comedians that's <laughs> get your ass. You're up. like, hey man, what's happening? What you want? It's the Rollout Show, the world famous Rollout Show, all brand new, kinda Rollout Show <laughs> with your boy Speed Doggy Dog right here on Morris Media. I'm the poetess. It's your boy Kente, aka the new dude. And Nikki Pam sitting in for RT to his. Late self gets here. What do you call it? Uh, YPT. 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 Yeah, YPT. Yeah, yeah, WPT. Time. <laughs> yeah, two WPT. hours early, yeah, ain't WPT. it? <laughs> uh, it is Wednesday morning. A Wednesday morning ish. Can I say morning? It's still Your morning. hair looks very. I like it like that. She got good good hair. I noticed. I never knew that last time we yeah, were together. She got good but she hair. Got the best Only hair black ever. people ever say that. You yeah, never hear white people go. He got good hair. Yeah. She can wet it and go. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. So you can go to a swimming pool party and actually get in. I did. I went See? to yeah. Palm Springs and, and jump in, in and you know She's not worry the about the drying the web. Very beautiful. Today. All right, Speedy. Okay. No, I'm, no, no, really? Are you trying to get me pregnant? Ah, uh, <laughs> no, it'd be good if I do it on verbal. <laughs> yeah. You got any more baby batter left for that? Yeah. Oh my goodness, Negro! Head. I'm so scared. Of that <laughs> shit. Does think, Michelle want think. another child? No. Aren't mm. y'all at your limit? Now? Mm. Ain't you at your limit? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Why you mad? She said you had one. <laughs> That's all. That's you that. had one. My baby mama was the best birth control on the planet. You had oh. one. Hey, nah. you got one kente. Yes, that's right. One little kente. Kente yet? Kente yet? She's a girl. Kente yet? Kenyatta. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> My baby mama was so bad. I you could be butt naked. She's like, come on, get this. You can go raw. Nope. Fuck you. I'm getting a condom and a steel suit. We are not. <laughs> no. One time you went raw. There it is. Yeah. Well, the one season. Of rawness. Oh. <laughs> it was more than once. Hilarious. I don't know. What would I do if it was just me and Donald? I ain't have my uh, other one. You ain't know. have your other six? No, seven? you're a good dad, so. I know, right? You were meant to have some kids. I don't know about a, a trough, but. <laughs> <laughs> a gaggle. Uh, right. Hey, Pam, you getting it in. <laughs> I don't know. I was going back to the hair weave. Because <laughs> yeah, you didn't her. get in the pool in the pond spray. <laughs> sure, I did, but up to she the did. neck. She was like, oh, I'm right here. Get to the shoulders. Yeah, I was holding like, her hair up. Oh, I was like, mm. Rock, to put a, help me put this ponytail up. <laughs> you wasn't partying in the rain. I've man. never seen nobody get in the pool with a, a motorcycle helmet on. <laughs> and a jerry curl bag underneath it. How you got both? I <laughs> sure did. Put holes in the bag. <laughs> You know what? You look very. I mean, she back. you got makeup. And, look at her. Got her blushing. What's happening? You got like a meeting who, after this? Who, that, who you call? It? No. Oh, Queen. we on camera. <gasps> ah. <laughs> Queen's coming to town. He he's streaming it live. No, <laughs> I, I actually talked Uh-oh. to Queen. Oh, oh, I was gonna ask. After hey, Kobe. the show, y'all made me feel so bad. But did he hear it? I don't think so. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> or if he did, he played it off. He yeah. did, you know, he, weird. Right. he played it. I didn't hear no, I didn't shit. know you was on the radio. But he did. How was the show today? See, uh, he heard it. Oh, he heard it. it was he fun. Heard it. He heard it. He heard it. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 that group you was talking about, I know them. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you did that. That's Souls of Mischief. Yeah, they cool. <laughs> Souls of Mischief. Souls of Mischief. You are the name from the town. <laughs> so what happened? Nothing. I just texted him and said, "Hey, hope oh, you're so having you really a good evening." To him. You just typed him. Yeah, I typed him. Oh, okay. Did, did you show, did you send a uh, pitch? A, a pitch? pitch? A pick? Nigga, you said pitch, pitch though, so Speedy. You did. I meant to say pick. <laughs> What's, uh, okay, a pitch. <laughs> what kind of pick? Hey, uh, yeah, kind you want to see it? No, y'all, he y'all didn't. Got... He sent a pic of us when we were in um, Palm Springs. Oh, the picture you guys took of all of us. Oh. Uh, Y'all didn't take no pictures of IHOP? <laughs> we didn't go to IHOP. <laughs> Remember. I'm to tell you, that shit was fussy. <laughs> nigga, y'all can't fool me. <laughs> he did <laughs> around this block. Nigga, I know how this shit work. Hey, what do you want to do? You want to go to get something to eat? Sure. I said, they all loud in front of me. I'm like, come on, nigga. <laughs> No pre rehearsed uh, Sure, I can eat <laughs> if you can. <laughs> if you want to go now, we can go. <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here. And okay, Speedy, we're going to go eat. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Look at each other, then leave. Oh, I wasn't supposed to read that. <laughs> <laughs> I did that at a read one time. 
my first one ever. Yeah, oh, clear really? in Hollywood. Yeah, it was like, don't and come I, back. I go in for an audition and I read everything on the paper. I didn't know. I was just like, and he went down as tears came from my eyes. Scene. <laughs> <laughs> See, <laughs> man went segment oh, one. Okay, um, don't one. call us. We'll call you. <laughs> and that's exactly what he said. He you're said, in. "We'll call you." I was like, "Okay, so just, I'm good." It was. It, he said, "You're it was at great. copyright 2005." <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, uh, before we start the show, Nikki uh, Pam had an interesting story that Woo! she shared with us. Okay. And yes. I mean, I mean. I mean, I, it, I mean. I'm swearing this is my life this kind of stuff I could be sitting on the couch having <clears throat> watching TV drinking some whatever and I would get a text okay so I got a text that morning saying hey if this such morning a, or that morning uh, yesterday morning sorry okay. if such and such comes don't let him in I'm like <laughs> okay you got to do the backstory like right. who, okay a so, friend of yours a friend of mine basically who I live with I'm just gonna say a roommate, <laughs> <The> roommate. <laughs> shout out the roommate so I know right <laughs> Um, has been seeing this guy for about six, seven months, I'm oh, saying. Yeah. And, and they're so, together all the time. Every time I oh, look yeah. up, they together. he's there. Six right? months? That's mm-hmm. your girl. Exactly. Right. So, um, basically, she comes home, like, foggy. And I'm like, well, what happened? What was that text about? Well, I was over Guy's house. I'm like, not Guy, Tori, but the Guy's. Guy. The, the Guy's guy. house. And, you know, we had just had sex three times. Three and so times. He, and I woke up. And I text him like, hey, babe, where are you? Come back to bed. He never no he response. In house, right? He's in the house. Okay. He's in the house. At his house. Yes. Got it. So she gets up. Um, she hears. Uh, 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 and I'm like. Mind you, they done screwed three, three times. times. Three times. Three times. Can you do one third. more of those? <laughs> well, we're almost you there. You, cut that you want me to dim the lights? Please. Yeah, <laughs> no, right. All right, Ooh, what, okay. happened? What, did, what did she hear? So she goes to the bathroom. I know what she, she hears. hears. She hears. Uh, <laughs> right, I <laughs> no, I'm doing it. no more CD. Okay, <laughs> so basically, and so she knocks on the door, and she's like, "Y'all motherfuckers got to come out." And he's like, "Nah, nah, I'm sick. I'm sick. Nah, nah, you lying. You lying. I'm I'm sick on the toilet." He's fucking in uh, his bathroom. In his bathroom, uh, another chick. Another Does he have chick? a big house? I was about to say, how big is your house? Will you think <laughs> it is a house? I will say that it's yeah, a house because you can't do it in my duplex. <laughs> Right, or in my two bedroom apartment. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. So, but she said, I said, "Well, how long did Shit. it take for him to come out?" She said, 45 minutes." Damn, so he comes. So he finished. So he right. finished. Yeah, right. I'm like, what? <laughs> so she, he was <laughs> asking her to leave, and she's like, "No, nah, I ain't going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere." So basically, he, he asked he, who to leave. He right. asked her to leave. The one that was there already. The one that was there already. Right. You know, right. because basically he was quote unquote sick. So he um, they finally come out. Throwing up baby batter. Right. So they finally come out. <laughs> then he turns around and starts beating up the girl, choking her. Wait. The one that he was having sex with the in the fourth, bathroom. The fourth time? He beat up the fourth time girl. Yeah, the fourth time, number four. Damn. Uh, and so he starts choking her. Girl. Yeah, exactly. He starts choking her, kicks her in the stomach. Uh uh-uh. uh. And so somebody else comes out. I don't know uh, who the that police was. Police? <laughs> no. Why he kick her in the stomach? He thought she got a pregnant real quick. You always. <laughs> like, you ain't gonna have my baby. I know that. <laughs> <Not funny. laughs> you laugh. That's you wrong. chuckle. You know That's funny. <laughs> How are you get. <laughs> I don't swear I'm not making this up. <laughs> he says, you are always fucking up my shit to her. Wait, so the girl in the bathroom. The girl in the bathroom. So, this is why he chokes her out. That says her that the he's been fucking this other side Wait, chick the, for 10 years off and on. 10 years? She yeah. got bomb hold shit. On, I'm going to let you know But she looked like an old crackle because she showed me the matter. picture. But does, does, does the girl... <laughs> that he kicked in the stomach. Does she live in the bathroom? How she like, I just go in here to pee, and all of a sudden you on my dick. <laughs> I'm trying to build this relationship. You know over here. Tell me what happened, Ma'am, Speedy. Tell got, me how this happened. She got bomb shit. If ten years and he been beating, she, she got bomb shit. But to you take just that chance, it times. doesn't matter. This one is the one. But Everybody <laughs> else is the play along. If this, because ten years to to even pull that off. For one thing, you gotta be stone ass pants to pull that. Yes. You, you a bad motherfucker. You, now, who, are you bring this nigga to the show I want to meet this nigga this nigga's a no this nigga's cold wait 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 all the guys are going yeah he bad no he's bad. sick you guys no he's, he's not sick. just to, to make the phone call even if she called she probably called and said what you doing but when did she call between fucking number two right. or fucking number three? No, no, she probably text yeah she I'm telling you she yeah, probably text, came in the back she probably text all night absolutely and was like yo I need to come through. I need to come through and then he gets up go to the bathroom see the text like yo what 
can I just come by just for, I got somebody oh, here. nigga. Can I come by for a few minutes? First of all, that's And that nigga went, shit. that pussy is bunk. All right, cool. I'm going to hey. let you in. Go I, straight to the bathroom. He goes to the, she go to the bathroom, <laughs> and she immediately, immediately, she immediately started <laughs> That's, sucking the dick. That's, that's, oh that's, my that's, god! Hey, so yeah. Suck my dick god. right off the top. So I'm like, wow, somebody in the, in the bathroom. But it's that bomb. He couldn't wait till tomorrow. No, <laughs> it's bomb. You thank know, you. Thank you. Thank you. Just had sex three times. You never had bomb pussy. I have, but, but I, I, I like some thing called sleep. I'm like, bitch, I'll fuck with you tomorrow. <laughs> right. I already fucked three times. I've won three times. And I'm already the champion. <laughs> Michael Jordan. I'm good. I'm going to sleep. I fuck with you tomorrow. I want to see you tonight. I'm fucking with you tomorrow. Turn off your okay. phone. Okay, so Speedy's acting like this I'm is a normal... I'm telling you, this nigga's a real deal. He's a real P I N. And he's real sick. He well, I mean, on the hitting part. I don't hit bitches. So I mean, did women. the police ever come? <laughs> huh? Did the police no. Come? Okay. Nobody so called the cops? There's more. Oh, shit. There's more. Okay, so basically... <laughs> he whooped my ass. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like I said, somebody pulls him off of her. Who else is there? <laughs> How many people in the house? I guess Damn, his assistant. What's going on? <laughs> his assistant. Your assistant stays oh, there sister, too. Sister, sister, oh, sister. <laughs> your assistant live there. You got the lady in the bathroom live there. How many people? Pay I for was it? like, this is the most ghetto story I've ever heard. Okay, so then it's like the sister runs out. And so I said, "What did you do?" And she, I said, "Did you help the girl? Did you pull him off?" She said, "No, that wasn't my fight." <laughs> okay. Your roommate might be a little. <laughs> yeah, off a little. To sit there and wa- I don't care. You know, like kick that bitch ass for me. <laughs> right. <laughs> it ain't my fight. I'm thing. like, yeah. bitch always coming in between us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bathroom bitch ass. <laughs> <laughs> Who does it? So then those two go to breakfast. Who after those two? <laughs> the my roommate and the girl. You might want to change the locks. The girl that he beat up? Yes. Wait, oh. And I said, well, what did you? She said, I wanted to know who the bitch was. I was like, okay. So she's like, I know you believe so, in yeah. everything. <laughs> right. Wipe your face off. We finna go get some pancakes. So that, like you said, obviously he has whooped the girl's butt before. Obviously this is a normal uh, thing for her not to be scarred. Call the police. I, I don't even know what to say. I said, so. So where's your roommate now? <laughs> Is your roommate? <laughs> you know, did she, go, did she just go to work? Like she came home, she said, "You got a sleeping pill." I was like, "Slid her the pill," and I was like, "Okay." Damn, and then all I'm she gonna went say, to sleep, Pam, like yeah. eight. Uh, you uh, live a life, yeah. Don't I? I, I thought I was doing some things. Next question: Uh, whose name is on the lease? Because your roommate <laughs> gotta go. <laughs> my, my, my. <laughs> you better I evict it. With this. <laughs> you know, have you ever had a roommate? You don't look like the type. I, I've had a roommate. You have? Yeah. How long did ago it, was this? Did it go back? I, I'm just um, leaning nah, in work. Um, mm-hmm. The first roommate I ever had, it was, it. it you know, we it College. wasn't bad. We, were, we didn't hang out. We weren't friends. <laughs> we were just roommates. Mm-hmm. But my best friend, Sheena, was my roommate for a number of years. Oh, okay. mm-hmm. And I think she would probably be the only one I would be roommates with because I'm um, I like now that I live alone. It's like hard, it. right? All right, we're gonna do this. We want to hear about your roommate <laughs> horror story. Night- sure, nightmares. Nightmares. Yes. Yeah. Three two three two nine three <clears throat> three three seven five. I've had roommates from li- from head hell. From head, head? hell. Ooh. I mean, these niggas <laughs> sounds like Pam's roommate. Right? <laughs> I've had like niggas what? like I had one dude. We used to live in the jungle. Mm-hmm. And this nigga hated on me every time. First bitches of all, come the over. jungle. Yeah, yeah, yeah you I know. The jungle. Yeah. And he would hate on me, and the girl would be like, "And anytime a woman go, is that your friend? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing good gonna happen after that." Yeah, I'm right. like, "Fuck." Uh, Reminds me of car wash when. Uh, kinda. <laughs> Not not the not I mean not car wash the wash oh, the new I'm one was right. hilarious <laughs> <laughs> when Dre had the roommate and yeah, with Snoop yeah. <laughs> but roommates are <clears throat> if they're your best friends it can go bad yeah it can go real yeah. bad yeah. so you and Fox I, I think that happened to me <laughs> 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 what did you <laughs> Fox's roommate, roommate. <laughs> 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 <Yeah, I'm joking. laughs> boys don't forget shit <laughs> 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 right this was, I ended up wanting to be this just as recent as last year. But my high school friend, it was a, it was hilarious. I did. <laughs> we, <laughs> <stupid>. <laughs> I but I did. Say. I had my high school, my friend, Tony Rochelle. Remember Kevin Rochelle that came with the food? His mm-hmm, brother? Mm-hmm. We were roommates. So oh, I, really? We went to high school together. We played on the basketball team together. Uh-huh. So he, we get out of high school. His brother buys a house. Uh-huh. The one that had the has the restaurants, he buys oh, a house. Right. Uh-huh. Everything's going good. We got a house. Everybody got their own room. It's three mm-hmm. dudes in a house oh, with a shit. pool in the back. Yes. Nigga, we doing it. Living in Hawthorne. Like, Hawthorne. These are dudes Hawthorne. I went to high school with. Hawthorne. Hawthorne. These dudes I went to high school with. Everything's supposed to be good. Nigga. 
So the cable bill do. Oh, <laughs> it is. <laughs> cable bill go. was maybe 110, 115. I said. So I go to my other boy. I said, yo, you got your bill. Again. He give me his half. I go to Kev. I go to Tony. I said, Tony, you got your bill. I ain't watch TV all this time. <laughs> <laughs> I said, mm-hmm. no, he what? did say I haven't watched TV <laughs> all this time. The nigger is this answer oh I've ever heard. Said, Tony, ain't got, and I'm remind you, uh-huh. we graduated. High school, oh, ninth it. grade, we've been on each other. <laughs> I said, TV Tom, I just need your, your think for the bill. I ain't paying that, nigga. I ain't watched TV all week. <laughs> all week. What? I said, like, bro, you tripping, man. Fuck you, nigga. Woo. Fuck oh. you and fuck your cable. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it gets he, I mean, went there, slammed his door. Bam. I was Mm-mm. like, this nigga slammed his door on me? <laughs> like a straight bitch. Yeah. <laughs> so, right, right. So now it's bad. Now you you know roommate when it go bad in the roommates. Yeah, y'all walk through the house like ships in the night. Don't yeah, nobody right, say, right. say nothing. Nobody. Right. You yeah. go to when you go in the uh, open the refrigerator. Whatever's been drank, you think that nigga did it. Yeah. This nigga didn't drink all the motherfucking milk. <laughs> <laughs> bitch ass nigga. <laughs> right, right. And you say it out loud. Oh right. yeah, right. Right. Yeah. You know you can hear me. Yeah. So so now here's the other part of it. I worked for him driving his limo. <laughs> So he would slide what? whatever run I had to do under my door. I'm like, this nigga's the worst. <laughs> but he wouldn't. He only owed like thirty five dollars. He wouldn't do it. Yeah. We didn't talk for years because of that. For thirty five dollars. Really? Fuck your On cable. A roommate shit. We had a roommate. We had this big three story house. It was me and two other roommates. Mm-hmm. And one of the roommates, she did not gel with us. She stayed in her room. Mm-hmm. She did. Which for me, it's cool. Yeah, please yeah, stay in your room. Man. Right. Yeah. Well, that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so one New Year's Eve, we had, like, people over and had the little fireplace go. We had a nice house. And she knew we all had basically the same friends, and she stayed in her room. She hated me. (laughs) Did she tell you that? No, but just how she acted. The attitude. Yeah, Yeah, and then I didn't have a car at that time, so we worked at the same place. She wouldn't give you a ride, nigga. No. She would leave before you got up. (laughs) (laughs) Who does this? You in the morning. Where did she go? She wouldn't even give me a ride to work, and we worked at the same place. (laughs) Oh, Did you know she hated you before y'all moved in together? No, it was cool, but I don't know where it went bad. I don't know why she developed this attitude. That's funny as fuck. You showed to work late. She like, you know you're late, <laughs> and she we was, came from the same spot. She was one of my supervisors. Right, right. So like, bitch, right. she writing you up? You late again. <laughs> bitch, you left me again. <laughs> <laughs> you saw my bag by the door in uniform, bitch. I, I remember. I laid it on your car. Yeah. I was in your car. You kicked me out at the stoplight. <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? Yeah, she was. She was. How long did you guys live together? Piece of work. How long did um, you Probably about a, a year, maybe. But we stayed, me and Sheena stayed in the house, and we got another You didn't roommate. know the girl didn't like you like that? I, she was kind of strange I guess she then. paid her rent yeah, on time. That would be the only reason so why stay. <laughs> we want your roommate from hell stories. Mm-hmm. 323-293-3375. You, what about I ain't you, really Kente? had nothing like that. I ain't really had nothing like that. Like college, I mean, nothing. That means no. you was the, no, no, you no, was the no, motherfucker. No, yeah, right. probably was. Uh, <laughs> in college, when I went to UCLA, uh, I used to have this, this white roommate and he was like hey how you doing but I didn't know about passive aggressive shit like that because I came from Oakland you speak your mind you say what the fuck is going on even the white folks up there would tell you this, you know I don't really like you but you're cool but I don't really like you yeah. this dude was passive aggressive every weekend he would leave he'd lock up his pillow and, <laughs> and his blanket in the little cubby hole and put a padlock on it I'm like motherfucker I don't want to sleep on your damn pillow. <laughs> like your white pillow is better than my black pillow. I was like, Who does ridiculous. that? Yes, it was ridiculous. It's, it's interesting to see how people live. You know what I'm saying? All right, yeah. their little quirks or. I used to, um, uh, Chris Tucker and Maestro. Maestro mm-hmm. Hardy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. were roommates. Uh-huh. And they were the worst roommates ever. <laughs> Chris Tucker, I just got to LA. So uh-huh. I go by their, their apartment and they had labels. <laughs> everything in the refrigerator <laughs> and, then, and then everything was separated and my, my show was like speed don't that's Chris Tucker shit you see the labels <laughs> uh-huh. you got his shit over there if you want some drink look on the other side look at my label shit I was like maestros <laughs> orange juice nigga <laughs> they say my shit yeah, your shit they, they, was, they, they shit was bad really Re- oh my god and he was like dude this he said I just go to my room close the door okay. he said he thought that they like was gonna that. be cool. yeah, he, he, he said he was like go that. to the room and then when it gets really bad and you go over and so the, if your roommate don't like your friends, yeah. then all your friends got to hover in your room <laughs> and then you come uh-uh. out and don't nobody say nothing nah, to nobody. Nah, That's right. Nah. Yeah. 
That's why. No. That's the fucked up roommate. That's why. Yeah, that's right. hilarious. I hate roommate. Nima roommate with me. Did he? Nick. <laughs> and you're <laughs> you like stuff neat. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah neat exactly. Fruit. Nigga, don't put your forehead on my screens. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you don't that, man. That's, <laughs> a, that's, a, that's the roommate. That's why you got left for work. Yeah, that's why she's freaky. That's, that's why she's freaky. 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 This nigga and I, me and Nima cool, but uh-huh. as roommates, I was gonna chuck shit out of Nima. <laughs> I was gonna chuck Nima every single week. I said, nigga, if you don't, why you don't clean up? Oh man, my bad, my bad, my bad. I my forgot. Bad. Hilarious. Did you with that? I forgot. <laughs> Didn't have the rent money. Damn. Yeah. Had no money. Th- there we have a problem. I said, nigga, you ain't just help on something. You gotta help on one of these bills. Something. Oh, nigga, hit me with the asthma. <sighs> Asthma. Oh, wow. <laughs> <The> asthma. <laughs> you know, they get asthma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your breathing track ain't working right now, right? So, roommate, we want to hear. Don't, don't, don't give us long nightmare. ass stories. Yeah, don't go on. Don't be as like, long and as then, so then he went Thursday. You know? Right. If it's a Thursday, you know, I'll shut you down. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Keep it brief. Yeah. Can you get to your point? Please call her. Right. <laughs> All right, so definitely shout yeah, out. Yeah, I want to yeah. shout out my mom. She's feeling under the weather. She's uh, actually in the chat room. We love you, Lucky. Oh, yeah. good. Lucky oh, she's so a, let's keep my mom in, in your yeah. prayer. She got to go to the doctor soon, today. Lucky. Yeah. yeah, we're going to yeah, call her. Lucky, lucky electrician. Lucky mm-hmm. electrician. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> tell the doctor, Domino, bitch, now give me some medicine. <laughs> 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 yeah, speak, so, can I, can I yeah. speak on this? And we'll, we'll get to the room. So I go in the kitchen before the show started. And Pam is in the kitchen. Nigga, she has a duffel bag full of pills. And so she got them all in zip and they got no label. They, they pill bottles with no label. It's labels. Quink, wink. It's labels. So I'm looking like, uh, Pam, are you okay? She said, I'm fine. So she got like nine pills in her hand. She goes, This is so I'll stay crazy. This is my estrogen. This is for my hair. This keeps my teeth white. I'm like, What the hey. fuck are you taking? You know, I said, Speedy, uh, stop talking to me, man, because you can't. Me off, my you know, I, asked her, I, I was like, oh, you know, I came gosh. in a little, a little hungover on Monday. I was like, who got some, who got some ibuprofen? <laughs> I was like, Pam, you got some headache medicine? She was like, yeah, this headache medicine, <laughs> but it ain't ibuprofen. I was like, I don't want that shit. <laughs> I said, you might not off. She was but like, hey. yeah. She was, I was like, she's gonna give me hair run. <laughs> all kind of shit in this duffel bag <laughs> true. that she even... travels with. I have to have How it. How do you get me. here and go? Okay. <laughs> she I said, I have to have it. <laughs> And she's taking pictures. Ain't got no label on them, but she know everyone. This is so that my eyelashes don't fall off. This keeps my earlobes at the right size. And this, is, I was waiting for it going, this keeps me a woman. What's that, Caitlyn Jilling pill? Or what the fuck is all like, like eating peanuts? Or, and so she, what's up with you wait a minute, Nick. She ain't had no water. Yeah, no, Wasn't no, no water. water on the table. Oh, and yeah, she was man. like, Speedy, don't tell nobody. Uh, bitch, wait till we go in the air. <laughs> What the fuck? Everybody. You imagine you come in the room, hey baby, <laughs> get these pills together. <laughs> you like, uh, bitch, what the fuck? She's separating them yes. like <laughs> little, little drug deal. Like, would you say you want to put them on the scale? <laughs> okay, that's Monday pill. <laughs> But she was naming, and they ain't had no label. She they was know. colored though. But she said, "This one keeps me from being crazy." I don't know why she started with that one. I said, "You got a pill to keep no. you from being crazy." Keep me from getting crazy is the pill you start with every morning. My bad, my bad. That's, That's the first, first one, one okay. you take. Then it was this for my hair. This is estrogen. This is for my eyelashes. This keeps my nails on fire. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> what the. F- Fuck! Well, I don't even know what to say. I can't deny you it. Can't she deny got. It. You, you know how y'all carry the bag with your makeup? Yeah. yeah. She got pill bag. That exact same stuff. <laughs> it is a makeup bag. It's like uh, I hate taking pills. I even hate taking <laughs> ibuprofen. And then when we oh, were in no. Palm Springs, I had a cold. Nikki Pam was like, "Take this." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she had you one of the pills. Take me one of Bill Cosby. She had a pill for me, <laughs> and I said, "Nah, I'm, like, I'm just gonna wing it through." She's like, "Hold up, girl, don't that." So Said, don't take crazy pill. Don't take the crazy pill. <laughs> when she said that, I was so appalled. I was like, you don't want to take the medicine? <laughs> no, are you serious? I <laughs> hate taking pill. I hate taking yeah. them unless I absolutely have to. My daughter, I had to crunch up a oh, yeah. fucking uh, granimal. Oh, Gran- uh, whatever. The, yeah. Because I said, Maya. She's like, no, no, dad. Yeah. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> she kept doing it. I said, Maya, just swallow. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, and Maya's said, my hero. Ooh, that's that's, my, hero. that's oh. my daughter. Take an hour to take one pill. <laughs> like you're 13. I need some more water. We didn't got no more goddamn water in the house. <laughs> you drank the now, cooler. Now I gotta go pee. I gotta go pee, Daddy. You should <laughs> swallow that damn pill. I'm like, it ain't cyanide. Just swallow the pill. I said, my, I said, Maya, it's a gummy bear. <laughs> <laughs> she kept going. Mm-hmm. It's like, what in the fuck is you wrong? Chew, you chew, you chew. Nigga, Pam, come on. Look here, just let your esophagus <laughs> <laughs> elaborate. You'll be fine. Pam, when did you stay, start taking all this? Oh, no. <laughs> How did you get to that? <laughs> How do you have that many? Pe- I can see you have four. <laughs> Eight, four is enough. When can, I got can I, the back? can I see the bag? Please come and see the bag. Okay, hold on. Let me get the bag. Just is case, that the bag right there? That's, that's the bag. The bag. <laughs> that is a, that is a lure bag. Where I, you going, fishing? I don't want you to think. That, look, it's busting. <laughs> Give me this shit. I can't zip it. <laughs> it won't zip. <laughs> it's fuck me, move this shit. You Pam, you I gotta take all of that. Not Nigga, all of it look. every day. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, how, do you, how do you go to the pharmacy and say, okay, uh, we got all of this? Hold oh. it up. Oh my God. Nigga. Don't, no, don't I'm spell not going to hold shit up. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, ain't got to hold shit up. God damn, no, man. Motherfucker. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Nigga, that looks like downtown LA. Oh, hold on, nigga. It's a syringe in here somewhere. I know it is. What? Oh, they don't even know that's what that the is. <laughs> That's the inhaler. That's the two inhaler. You have <laughs> asthma? You got one for each lung, nigga? How you got two inhalers? This for the left side, right, this so for the right side. If you date a woman, nigga, and she got this shit going on in her life. <laughs> I look like a Monopoly board. Part, part, part place and Now I'm going to go on a limb and say this big tall one is the crazy pill. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's half full right there. Damn, that's a lot. Uh, Pam. <laughs> Nigga, you yo. get pulled over. So you going to jail, <laughs> yeah. man. You should see me trying to get in on a plane. You, know, like, you try to take all that shit on you? I have to. You going to jail. <laughs> I couldn't explain all this shit to save your fucking life. <laughs> we going to need to do an intervention on Friday. <laughs> I swear I don't have a and problem. Again, <laughs> it don't fit. Man, we're going to need you to come in early Friday. We're going to have somebody talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do me a favor, Twin. Here's some duct tape. <laughs> This ain't gonna fit, nigga. Pam, you know they sell bigger bags. <laughs> <laughs> and nigga, it got a carrier bag like, I need to take this. <laughs> you at the airport cute. like this. Nigga, you gotta, you gotta, cute. You got a book bag full of pills. Now watch me. Say you got a headache. Hey, you got a headache? No, say you have one. Oh, hey, man, I got a headache. You got Hold up, take? nigga. Hold on. I got a headache, pill. Oh, no, I'm cool. Oh, no, no, no. No, it's gone. No, Hold it's on, gone. Said, what kind of headache? <laughs> All right. Tension, <laughs> migraine. Your feet hurt? No, no. no, no. Your, feet, uh, your nails grow? They cool, they, they cool. They cool, okay, cool. Uh, your curl. Yeah. Your hair? Curl, yeah, it's curl. It's cool. It's cool. Um, <laughs> no, that's my crazy <laughs> pill. Here's my Bill Cosby's. You got headache and sporting uh, weight pills? Hold on, hold on, nigga. Hold on. I got this. No. You got uh, effervescent. I don't you got, know why uh, she got that. I got a headache and I think I got hold Ebola. On, hold on, nigga. You got Ebola? Yeah, hold I got up, Ebola and a headache. Up. Oh, here it is. I got a package. <laughs> How you got samples in your bag? You okay, got si- that, nigga, she got sample pills. I quit. That, she got sample <laughs> That is for sample that. Pills. Now tell me this, Pam. Do you have to take all of those in one day? Okay, <laughs> nigga, you be taking pills all day. <laughs> no, don't Time to go to sleep, nigga. She was in there going. She poured each one of these in her hand. <laughs> it's like five a day. I will say that. <laughs> all the other stuff, like the the sample was for the of sleep. <laughs> That's sleep. Oh, these are the bill guys. That's a new. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's for different things, like, you know, heartburn. Oh, my God, I hate that. <laughs> so when your roommate was like, nigga. wait, we ain't finished. She got individuals. Nigga. <laughs> That's what I was going to give you yesterday. <laughs> I couldn't find you. She got an individual. <laughs> nigga, when the pill is that little. Yeah, they no, got a little dip in it. Fuck, yeah. No, That's fuck that. Inhaler. That's just strong than a motherfucker, boy. Yeah, don't fuck with that motherfucker. How you got samples of samples? I don't know why this is in there. <laughs> <laughs> and I need, you need to floss after you chew oh, it. Oh, shit. Oh, Ointment. Oh you got oint- what is this? Oh, no. It's the monastery. <laughs> Somebody got a half used. Somebody got a bump. <laughs> got a bump bump the on your boys. The yeasty boys. <laughs> the yeasty boys. <laughs> You just said it, you <laughs> Steve. Oh my God. Okay, I'm done. I think RT's here. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm RT. While Speedy's cleaning up the table, we're going to take a quick yeah. break and listening to the all new rollout show at Live from Moore's Media Studio. Sponsored we'll by right CBS. Back. <laughs> Shit. We'll be you right back. Just say, you Steve. Oh my God. I'm done. <laughs> 
gangsters came, see it's the same old gang. Same old gangster gang, it's the same old thing. Just yeah, we are back. It's the all new rollout show right here on Morris Media. It's your boy Speed Doggy Dog in the building. Also, we got the poetess. Got your boy Kente, aka New Dude. And RT, the white boy, the most ignorant with the least pigment, is back in the building. What's happening, y'all? And we at the round table guy. we have, or the semi, or <laughs> the, 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 half, half the half circle table. Semicola. We got Gitori got her in the building. So you going by you going by 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 a speedy doggy dog yeah, now? I thought it was speedy meek meal right now. <laughs> Oh, this nigga tried to joke. He wrote it down. I thought it was speak. Meek Neal. Yeah. 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 What up, joking. crew? What up, fam? What's up, man? You know, I'm, getting, you know I'm, at the, you know I'm at that age, man. I'm at the right age. You know, you got to write stuff down. <laughs> to, to remind yourself. Oh, you going to forget it. That's the yeah. right age right there. You say it off your mustache. It's scaring me right now. I know, man. I got, that means I got a TV deal. <laughs> oh, <okay>. not no. <laughs> Kente had to do it last yeah, I week. Do it last week. That's well, for, I got for the man, you had to do it for the man. Yeah, you know, you'd be like shaving it off, mad. And, God damn, you don't look like you got no top lip. It's only four ways you shave your mustache off as a black man. Either one, you like white girls. Yep. <laughs> you know, the other one, you know, you you eating skittles. <laughs> Taste the rainbow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Shout out to Caitlyn Jenny. <laughs> yeah. And the third one, actually, there's three. And the third, uh, third one, you uh, oh, you got a TV deal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You got I got a job. None of the You'll three. Work. None of the three apply and to what me. What is the fourth? The yeah. fourth is you over forty. <laughs> <laughs> no, the fourth one is if you mess up when you. Oh, you yeah. speedy messed up one time. Yeah. You never did that where you you lined it and it's perfect and then you go let me hit it one more and you do it. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> try to look like Clark Gable and the next thing you know yeah. what am I put, you look am like I Danny Green because that one second that motherfucker's right there and some of y'all go okay That's get terrible. that little hair right there and you take that motherfucker and somebody goes speedy what <laughs> man let me tell you about the whole the whole beard thing and getting older man Danny Green very funny comedian um he was there you know he was there yeah, yeah Danny Danny Dan one time funniest story in the world man hey spitting on the mic. I hope yeah. y'all cleanse these, these microphones with the Danny Green. <laughs> the screen. I used to hang out with Danny Green. Sucking he has a list for those who don't know Danny. He has a list. So Strong we used to hang list. out all the time and I used to like, you know, like strong drinks. But I had to order the drinks with the umbrellas in it because Danny was going to spit in your drink if you talk to you. <laughs> so I'm, order, I'm, I'm ordering vodka Mai Tais. And the Rainmaker. But Danny, Danny, when Danny tried to color his beard one time, right? It was turning gray. He was looking like Emmett Smith in that commercial. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he used it just for men. He used it just for men, but his skin got irritated and broke the hell out, right? So, so. You need the magic his, shave color. Yeah, yeah. His skin <laughs> broke out, right? So about a week or two later, it started healing and scabs was coming, right? Whoa, so now, whoa. So now we go to this party at Las Palmas, right? And it was, uh, I think Herb invited us to a party, but then I think Mr. Marcus, somebody had a party on the other side, right? So we there, and... Plenty you know, of bumps club, over you know, there, too. You know clubs, right? They have the... <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you know the clubs, right? They have the... the you the, the, the keep black light. a bump on your face. They, they have the black light, right? Yeah. So in the black uh -huh. light, Dannon's beard with the scabs was glowing. Uh -huh. he, was like, he was like Papa Smurf, right? Like the Milky Way? Yeah, like a toxic pa Papa Smurf. <laughs> toxic so then, Papa Smurf. So then, <laughs> so then he saw this girl that worked out at the gym, right? Oh. This girl was a, was a porn girl. White girl, and she was with another friend. So Danny kept trying to holler at it, and the girl kept looking at Danny and saying, "Girl, get away from him! Get away from him!" All night. So, but he night, don't know his face is glowing. He like don't that. realize his face is glowing okay. like that. So he like a meteorite. Look at like Haley's flying comment. toxic dump. So at the end of the night, in the night, they, we standing outside, and all I hear is, "Ow, who kicked me?" And then Danny grabbed on. Let's go! Let's go! Danny kicked this girl in the shin. The girl kept pulling her girlfriend away. <laughs> and Danny had on dress shoes, like church, like faithful circle oh, yeah. shoes. Wingtips. And kicked her in the shin because I said, why'd you do that? And she kept, she kept she kept pulling her girl away from me. I'm like, are you kidding me? Danny kicking girls? What? In the shin? What? Who the fuck kicked somebody's shin? What, what kind Last of shoes? third grade. Some some faithful central church shoes. <laughs> Got them deacon, <laughs> deacon docking. Uh, you click the who heels, a knife comes out the front. You kiss a girl in the, in, the, in the shin because your chin is jacked up. So, so here's here's my daddy green story. So we, uh, I got plenty. We play, got together. playing in a celebrity basketball game. Oh, well, we got celebrity league. Oh, and I didn't know Dan didn't play basketball. Me I either. Didn't know. I've been known him my whole so, career. But so when Dan didn't walk out, and I'm like, what's Dan doing here? And I saw him in a, in a layup line, but he don't have no calves. It just it go from thigh yeah. to the shoe. I said this not. I said Dan just the basketball? hamstring continues. I said, <laughs> Long ass hamstring. So I'm like, Dad, I play P ball? I'm like, okay, let's go. Okay, now we finna do jump ball. Jump ball! <laughs> Both his legs jump break. Ball. Jump ball. <laughs> Nigga, they like throw the ball up, and Dan grabs the rebound 
and blows out his uh, 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 patella tendon. Oh, you have oh, to. No, so, dude. so the game just started. So he's on the court. We're like, dude, <laughs> you cool. We like you. We know you hurt, but can you slide over oh, just no. a little bit? Y'all ain't had no timeouts left? No. <laughs> nigga, we just started. He blows. So his knee is all fucked up. He's like, oh, oh nigga. And so we got jokes. He said, "Ah, oh, well, guess you won't be going to that audition. <laughs> Niggas hitting him with everything. But literally. He wasn't going to book it anyway. Ju- <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell him that, though. <laughs> literally jump ball. Who, who, who did he play for? The Lakers, man? <laughs> no, it was when. Blowed his, blow his leg out the first game. Ah! <laughs> ah, my leg. <laughs> so, daddy. Cool, then. Daddy, daddy. Yeah. The daddy, daddy of my cat. You man. and Tan- daddy used to be mad cool. Yeah, we me, me, me and Dad was tired, man. Tired than you know uh, Bruce, Bruce and some spandex, man. Yeah, that, was my, that was my cat, man. You know, things happen. Uh, uh-oh. Yeah, <laughs> you, know, you got quiet. You, you get older, you grow apart, man. Life you know, happens. Friends, Life happens. You like motherfuckers that, man. older. Get the fuck out of here. Got that, got two that, years. Had that unsung years, spark what? up in there. Uh, <laughs> you know, shit changes. <laughs> All right, so right after this, things so, change. So we, uh, it's time to go to. Even though we'll come back to it. Pam, thank you for your pills. I feel a lot better right now. I don't know which one you gave me, but I feel good. Keep you from going crazy. Yeah, Pam had a little satchel. Your hair is turning like hers now. (laughs) Uh, Mom's call. I called mom. She said uh, she got you beat, Pam. Lucky got more pills pills pills. than Pam. She got more pills. She got pills double bag. Oh. <laughs> pills. I bet you saw something else. <laughs> okay. No, we got pills. All right, so it's now time for Rollout News with The Poetess. The Poetess. What you got, P? Um. Let me see where should I start first. Oh, damn. Okay, the first what one. Crazy the first story. story is, and I thought this was kind of odd. Um, Asian kids are walking around Asia with these T-shirts with graphic language on it mm. because the parents. They don't understand English. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so they're so walking around with English curse words uh, on the shirts. Stuff like sex for money. Fuck a you. <laughs> <laughs> fuck a me. Is that how the shirt reads? <laughs> yeah. Fuck oh, a you. Fuck, it, it reads in an accent. I, I, I swallow them. <laughs> yeah. You <laughs> are a hey, sucker. Though. You guys are not far off because it says <laughs> one shirt says too drunk to fuck. Too <laughs> drunk to fuck off. <laughs> this is in Japan? Who is putting <laughs> this kind of stuff on kids' clothes? I don't understand. Well, it, it's too drunk to fuck. I've well, never been so <laughs> drunk to fuck. So I, I guess it's like if they had a shirt on that I read. Fucked. I didn't say it was good. I just said. If they had a shirt that read Japanese, we'd be like, what the fuck that say? And yeah. they say. All, all the tattoos in America right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've been too drunk to fuck myself. <laughs> that's when your stuff started looking like overcooked asparagus. <laughs> Damn. Hey, but you know they make it all the in gummy Asia, bear. So they, so they making it right there. Some of the shirts which I found disturbing was a little pink dress that says, I am a whore. Wow. And what's disturbing about that? <laughs> <laughs> Two whistles. Sounds funny. pretty honest. Yeah. <laughs> I, she's Fort Wright. I, 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 mean. I mean, these are kids wearing this. It's like oh. seven, eight. Oh no, they can't oh, wear that. Oh, that sounds like the stuff the Nike sweater. store didn't want to sell no more. They were like, "Yeah, just leave it over there. Don't bring that over to America." So, how did you go from Pokemon to uh, Pokemon? How did you do that? <laughs> how did you do that? Pokemon. You seven, you seven years old. How the fuck did you go? It's well, who that, bought it for uh, the Mima? The parents, because the parents can't read English. Even a shirt even said. Who the fuck is Jesus? Wow. Ooh, wow. Dang. Hey, that wow. You sure that wasn't Jesus like the, you know, the <laughs> Mexican Jesus gardener or something that they yeah, didn't know who kept coming be, over and cleaning Can't it. walk in my mama's well, with that, that one. Yeah. No. Nah. You going to church to get healed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 you no, you, you, that one. No, you draining your blood out your body. You out the family. <laughs> you get kicked with Dan and Green shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Wingtips. Ow! <laughs> The next story is um, an ATM employee accidentally leaves a bag. I saw this. A hundred and forty-one thousand dollars on where? the curb. Where? Oh. Oh. Nigga, where? What? What curb? This was in, in uh, New Jersey. In, yeah, New Jersey. Jersey. This never happens. No. I saw the footage of it. Dude left the the <laughs> bank or whatever, and then uh, was about to get in his car. Put the fucking bag of money down on the curb by his car. One hundred forty-one thousand dollars in the bag. Gets in the car. Leaves. And leaves the car. What? First it's it's almost number, like a yeah, setup. You see, you see number reverse lights. <laughs> <laughs> no, he actually drove seven, eight miles away before he realized that the bag was not in the car. So this white van pulls up next to the curb where the money is. Well, I got to be a white up. van. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, a white man. Let's go. A Caucasian van. A uh, Caucasian van. So the guy in the van picks the bag up, puts it in the van. It's almost like it it's was a orchestrated. That's a setup. And so they, they I, I love that somebody put a quote and said, I hope they do the right thing and turn the money in. <laughs> 
<laughs> right. So the money's missing. The money's missing. They Thank don't, you. And they don't have, a, and I looked at the footage, there's no like license plate number of the van. <laughs> So for 141, you could get rid of that van. Thank you. Ride. That's gonna change your life. Let me tell you how you gotta do it though. Now you got the 140. You you put the shit together. You can't go to the mall. You can't buy no, no. shoestrings. You gotta stay pretty Act like much nothing happened for about a year. <laughs> do 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 do. Your boys in return then bought some shit. Yeah, that's yeah. tough. I think I, yo yo split. To say it's, so it's a dude in advance. So at least two dudes because one yeah, driving seventy thousand. Got to grab the best. So it's about seventy thousand each. Yeah, somebody so they, get, buy they some gave you your seventy. Your seventy's in your closet. You cannot touch that shit. You can't. I'm buy going nothing. to Vegas. That's, that's like a casino, right? Yeah, you yeah, can't do nothing. You can't do nothing. You have to shut down. Our Furs. team is gonna get everybody busted. Exactly. <laughs> now You're your boy, crap tables, nigga in the van. He go, he go buck wild. Yeah. Nigga, guess what I bought? Fuck you, nigga. Nigga already. <laughs> <laughs> like I bought, yeah. I, bought, I put twenty on a house. I bought this new car and yeah. some Jordan. He yeah. told me to wait. Put I twenty on a house. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here we go. So he did bought him a car through him. Yeah. Hey, you want to drive your car? Nah, just leave the park. <laughs> I got a bigger van to put the old van in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's definitely a setup. Yeah. Yeah, you think, that's well, no, the way the video think. looked, it was like he actually forgot. He probably thought the other guy. Yeah, I think so, put, too. It was put something it in weird. the car. Well, we do know they both fired at this point. But the thing is, the bag was, um, uh, you know, unmarked. It didn't say bank bag or anything. It didn't yeah, say anything. So. It was just like a little duffel bag. It just said cash. Yeah, yeah it said take me, please. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it wasn't a Floyd Mayweather bag with all the money in it. <laughs> <laughs> I know one bag. thing. If I ever see a bag, I'm taking it. So, I was just saying. So, so you I'm, taking it back? Or but no? it was just like it. It looked weird. It, it's almost like maybe it wasn't orchestrated to do. But like, like it was like bait, it was, it was like bait car, but bait bag. <laughs> yeah. So the dude had plausible <laughs> deniability, but everybody else in the white van, they know they stole it. Bait bag. They stole it. I, I tell you one, they wasn't a Floyd bag. Floyd ain't gonna have a hundred. Yeah, yeah, he have like hundred million. Yeah, have a million. Yeah, have a hundred million. In I was there. in the airport uh, this past weekend in St. Louis. I went to St. Louis. Oh, you, get, you didn't get shot? Hilarious. <laughs> so I had to go there and He's shoot this uh, sitcom. And so I go to the bathroom, and there's, I, you know, you go in. Somebody set their bag by the door. And went in and peed. So as I'm coming back out the bathroom, you know, everybody's <laughs> looking at the bag, but everybody walked past, and I looked at the bag, and I said, "I, I, did, I did my like I'm looking for something." I said, "That motherfucking bag still there?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Five minutes, and, my, and I, I'm looking. You know, you look at your phone, and I glance over, and then the white dude come out, grab the bag. I was like, "All right, nigga." <laughs> I wasn't gonna be the motherfucker. There's the bag in the bathroom. I was gonna take that shit. The, you go in the bag, go in the stall. You gonna look you lock it. <laughs> I need a twenty. Look, I'm taking this phone. I need, I need a look, twenty. I'm taking this remote. The Twenty seconds. Glasses, I need a 20. mine, and I'm gonna leave this shit. I don't need this. Speedy, speedy. I need a 20 I, you know, I need a full time Hold up You went to St. Louis To a sitcom Yeah this a uh, friend of mine Yeah, yeah it's, it was, I'm from St. Louis I ain't get that call <laughs> And you shaved no, your lip off If G-Thing got that call I'm gonna kill myself And yeah. you shaved your lip <laughs> off For no good reason <laughs> My city should have a sitcom How they treat you man And he had his, he had his mustache had on a great time Did you have some, uh, some Some ghetto fried rice We got the best Ghetto fried oh, rice In go, the world Take, you there. I was take you to a St. Louis rib shack No Oh man you didn't you, Who was you with white people No I was with some brother Really? They ain't real brothers. They like some Wayne Brady brothers. <laughs> they they, they would have took you to all the spots where you go get They're trying to miss you. And you ain't miss any meals, Speedy, so they should have took you to all the spots. <laughs> I know a great spot for some skirt steak. Speedy lost some weight. <laughs> he found it. <laughs> he found it. <laughs> I hate you niggas, man. I found I'm it. I'm so my, so my love handle. There it is. Going to that story, the, so police, back. the police are saying that it was a stroke of luck. Like nah. they're not. I don't believe they it. think it was a white van. Well, with no I think because they saw the evidence and they say it's a stroke of luck. There's no fucking license plate anywhere that can be seen. So they're looking for a van. <laughs> you know what I mean? The cops are looking for a van. They know what year it is, what model, 1999. I'm selling GMC. that motherfucker's on fire. Right? I'm out of, yeah, <laughs> I'm out of state. It's on fire. But yeah. The guy who did it, they said he went into like a panic attack. Like Heck yeah, he, you got yeah. to. He, he said he went to the hospital. They took yeah. him to the hospital because if you don't out. do that, nigga, yeah, then you're the first suspect. <laughs> or it was the Oscar goes to exactly <laughs> guy in on it. He broke out with Pam's bag. <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> I gotta take a pill for this. This I don't die tonight. <laughs> This is I remember where the hundred and forty thousand dollars is next time. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> nigga, did they already do a meme? They already did a meme. The yeasty boys. Fucking the yeasty boys. The yeasty boys. The yeasty boys. Oh, my God. Nigga, this is fucking Okay, incredible. so the woman who helped the two prisoners escape oh, oh, shit. went to uh, jail. 
yeah, she's going to jail. <laughs> where she worked. She pleaded. Uh, <laughs> Bitch, I know where you're saying. Right. Now, now you clock into jail. <laughs> she's going to the same jail she worked at. I don't. I don't know if oh, it's the same that's jail, but she pleaded guilty uh, yesterday um, for assisting the two prisoners that escaped. Uh, Bet she don't get no hamburger meat. But what was weird was both. She was digging on both of the guys. Yes. Yeah. Oh, they were handed off. They were like, yeah, we'll hook up with her. She, she claimed she didn't have relations with one, Shit. but she gave one of them head. Oh, yeah, the, that, that's that's not a relation. Yeah, <laughs> she's trying to explain. That ain't it. sex. <laughs> not if you're on the clock. <laughs> <laughs> I was, you I was working. It's just part of the job. <laughs> yeah, it's part of the Even job. Even if it's blowing, it's part of the job. <laughs> well, you know, she's uh, facing like seven years too, ain't she? Yeah, no. she's getting well up to seven uh, years. They said she it. might get half of that. I mean, yeah, he was yeah. doing life. It's the least I could do. Yeah, <laughs> she that's was um, bringing in hacksaw blades and stuff through hamburger. Yeah, meat, she was bringing in ham. hamburger meat and then put it in the freezer, but it had tools and shit. In. <laughs> <laughs> they said they've been practicing their escape for every night for six months. It was a little Ikea get out of jail set. They, she was getting a, <laughs> they, had, she was, they had to build it week by week. They're like, what? I can't read these instructions? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Motherfucker eat a whole lot of hamburgers. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Don't worry about that. They like hamburgers. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Why is it stiff? <laughs> they said one files. guy was on the news yesterday talking about how uh, one of the prisoners was getting fried chicken and Damn. all kind I'm of I'm going to go on a limb and say that's the black dude. <laughs> No, they both were white. What? No, I meant the dude getting the fried chicken. No, he was white. Oh. Oh. He just wanted to get different. I don't want hamburger. See, just chicken is just delicious. I mean, that just proves even, the chicken is she delicious. She was giving, getting stuff like glasses with the lights on them. You know, the night vision glasses. Oh, them is dope. <laughs> them, is, uh, them is dope as much. But they were. Yeah. You want to go to jail I, just I, to get the I, night I, vision I need them during the day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over 40, Dad. <laughs> Prescription night vision. <laughs> well, they. And then when people were asking, well, what do you have those for? They Because they were. Artist, and they said it's they for us paint to night. paint at night. We're yeah. artists. So, yeah. where, 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 you in a five I'm going by, to disappear from you jail. You in a five by seven cell? Where you keeping all this shit? Who got a freezer in their jail cell? <laughs> in their ass, man. <laughs> Night vision. Like I need them glasses. Hold on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why you walk so stiff there, son? I can't see through the goggles. Oh, let me wipe them off. There we go. There we go. Now the lens is clean. Uh, 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 apparently, this is boo boo screen. <laughs> That's disgusting. I'm sorry. That's too far. Um. Okay. So why do these goggles come with peanuts? You know, because you know anybody know the strip shirt, they go cough. And apparently, when you cough, <laughs> just to let everything so else, the goggles go, gave up. I need you to cough, homie. Uh, I don't think that'll be cool. <laughs> yeah. like, Hold on, turn the lights off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that a flashlight in your ass? Well, <laughs> well kind of. <laughs> Close. Kind of. <laughs> it's a night vision. <laughs> um, so, I guess one of uh, Trump's employees went off on a reporter oh, yesterday yeah. because he brought up that in this book written a few years ago about Donald Trump that his ex-wife Ivana Trump claims that uh, that that the Donald raped her. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. After they were that? married, yeah. they were married, and what the controversy uh, is yeah. that the employee of Donald was saying that you can't rape your spouse. You can't rape. Yeah, you can. Yes, you can. Yeah. It is. It's, <laughs> il- it's yeah. illegal in fifty states. Well, I, <laughs> damn. I, I, there you but go. Not yeah. Puerto Rico. Yeah. Yeah. No, right. yeah, 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 right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You can still rape your spouse. A- absolutely. She says no. He says no. It's no. Uh, yeah. Bitch, I got paperwork. <laughs> exactly. Now you see that ring? That means it's all mine. But the, the Bible even says your body belongs to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When you're married. The Bible says. Real religious Bible. and stuff. If yeah. you don't like give me the pussy, you, you're you fired. Yes, or, you're, or, or you're going to hell. <laughs> yeah. Do it again. Do it again. If you don't give me the pussy, you, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what allegedly happened, that um, she referred him to a plastic surgeon that did, I guess, the what's called uh, scalp reduction. <laughs> Where he had his scalp reduced to cover a ball spot, and he was in so much pain. Oh, to get the comb to get the comb over. Right. Yeah. So he was in so much pain that he took it out on her. Allegedly, he grabbed and was pulling her hair out of her scalp. And Dang. Then he's he, like, I need more. Then he pulled. Down. I need your hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was like, I want you to feel like I'm feeling right now. Oh and he shit. Was, Pulling her hair out of her scalp and then pulled down his pants and raped her. Wow. But what a sh- scoundrel. <laughs> Skull reduction. That sounds like marriage right there. How you, how, you go from, how you go from I'm in pain to take this dick? Exactly. 
Like, I don't think my dick gets hard. Well, Mick, you got some pill for that? I'm pretty sure you do, man. So, uh, wait, so how wait. do you go from pain? I got pain in my head. Yeah. Pull your pants off. Wait, he pulled uh, the hair out. He was like, I want you to fuck this bald spot, too. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> the bald spot sex. That's what we're having tonight. I'm in excruciating pain. I need pussy. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> You're fired. That's just how it works. That's, <laughs> I need something to console myself. I mean, I think God heals all things, but you know, pussy can heal a lot of things too. But pussy does heal a lot of shit. <laughs> now, when you take it, it does change yeah. your mood. Well, he, he got his Bill Cosby on. So the guy who works, the employee that works for Donald Trump, he had to apologize because he went and was like. Uh, threatening the reporter that was going to bring this up in mm-hmm. an article, and he said, "I will do things to you that are fucking disgusting." He turned Mike Tyson wow. on him. I will fuck you like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> like so, yeah, even, I'll eat your kids. <laughs> even Ivana has kind of backed off of that statement because uh. this was during the time that they were getting a divorce. She said he didn't rape me. It was kind of rape adjacent. Right. <laughs> yeah, it was Basically. close to rape. Yeah. Basically. Is what he could have took a left on rape, but he took a right on <laughs> exactly. assault. So he <laughs> right. he ripped me. Yeah. Not rape me. He ripped me. <laughs> ripped me. Okay, one last story. Um, a woman has been catfished for 12 years. <laughs> Just over bullshit. the internet. Over just the internet. For 12 years? One thing comes to mind, dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you can never be so much. Dumb bitch. So how do you date a yeah. motherfucker for 12 years? On the internet. Well, that's the Van Tateo shit. Like, yeah. it's, it's a, yeah. a girlfriend or a relationship, but it's not. 12 it's not years, I'm going to find a way to you. Take hey. a look at yeah. my girlfriend. <laughs> you know, like, hey, I'm around the corner from you. Ooh, Imaginary. Yeah. <laughs> do you guys ever watch the show yeah, that they the have? Yeah, it's scary as fuck. The dumbest shit ever, though. How you, I mean, because they ask a question like, how do you never see him? Well, he always has a very good excuse why he can't come meet me. It's been three years, bitch. <laughs> it just happened In to this case, guy. 15 or 12 years. 12 years. years. Where, where was this? Well, rural, uh, rural Florida. somewhere. Florida. 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 Everything Florida. happens in Florida. I'm not sure where it was, but she, was, she met this guy in the chat room when she was 15. Damn. <laughs> And so they had this relationship for a couple years, and he even proposed to her. Chris Hansen? <laughs> yeah, Chris Hansen. <laughs> so, I, yeah. I brought the Mike's Hard Lemonade. <laughs> How do you? <laughs> what do you want me to do with these condoms? Hello, who is I got cookies. <laughs> How do you I don't know propose? why they always bring cookies. How do you propose with just your Facebook profile picture? <laughs> you want me to bring the crayons in? Well, after a while... She ended up marrying somebody else, but they you still think? had the online relationship a, a cyber going. And then finally, <laughs> after 12 years, it was revealed that this guy was actually in his 60s <laughs> with a wife and grandkids. Well, he wasn't in his 60s when he met her. Yeah, he was he in his young 40. 40. 45. But he can work the internet. That's pretty impressive for an old motherfucker. Oh, my God. work the computer <laughs> to, like to that. To put up a charade like that. That's pretty Have good. Any of you guys <laughs> farmers only <laughs> Have any of you guys ever been catfish? No. Hell no. No, you black nigga. No. No, nigga no. I like I like to meet my women in 3D. Fuck that shit. I need to yeah. see if you match your profile picture I don't even in the first it. two weeks. They got 3D porn now. Can't tell you. Hey, damn. Well, the uh, the <laughs> first the one that they based the cat that catfish off the show off of is pretty fucking scary. They made a movie right. of it. Yeah. That's pretty scary because this woman was basically pretending to be a whole family of people. So this, dude, dude, this dude went up to meet this chick. Uh, why does your dog and, look human? Dude, it turns out that this chick was being the daughter, the woman that he was. This yes. guy was in love with, yes. and was being the whole other family too. And it was it she was voices. She needed scary to as fuck. Cup. Yeah, it was, she was the clump. She needs to be a cartoon. <laughs> she make some money. Be a... Dude, it, that, that was a scary shit. Yeah, those shows yeah. are really. Yeah, I don't. Really I don't weird. know how. Like, cause after I get bored, we're like, look, when we meet up, oh, I got something to do. Get my okay, fuck you. Yeah, I'm, pretty I'm, much. I'm gonna go into Friday. That's why black. Or like, here, you bro. can't talk. Like, you didn't yeah. talk on the phone, and you couldn't tell it was an old man voice. Exactly. Like, <laughs> That's, That's what. No, I mean, and then when they do have a black dude, it's like, so I called Charles three times, <laughs> and he didn't want to meet me. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna call Catfish and then find out yeah. fuck this motherfucker. He is. And they be googling the Catfish. They be like, well, how did it be like an old girl at the house? Be like. Well, you didn't know it was a girl. She was. He was very good. I never. I never knew. Like Tony Baker. I never knew. Yeah, those are the <laughs> weird ones when they're the same sex. Yeah, and, they'd... and they'd be like, "Why you do it? I was bored." And she yeah, kept going bored. along right. with it, so she bought me the Cadillac. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they get money out of these yeah. people. I'm oh, like, yeah, crazy. Because yeah. they had one lady. She was in Oakland. 
the girl that was catfishing her was in Oakland. Okay. And yes. she was she was real ghetto. Oh, Fuck that yes. bitch. I saw she that kept, one. She kept coming to me in the chat room, so I was like, get all you can. It, it was just a rapper that went through that. A real, yeah. a real rapper? Yeah, I saw it last week. It was a rapper. Um, he went. You, you saw it, Pam? Yeah, I did. What was it? <laughs> it was a... Uh, no, 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 it's, uh, no, 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 the rap, and, and, and they, it was just, just, it was, they just aired it, uh, it was a white girl, ago. yeah, 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 um, what's that nigga from, oh, I it just was from saw. a group, um, man, what can yeah. I, hey, if it's you, call in, three, two, three, if <laughs> 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 you've been catfished, <laughs> you catfish. felt bad for the guy, you know, no. for a moment, oh, wait, oh, with the transsexual, oh, no, 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 you don't feel bad for guys, but wait, you are, you're a nigga, you're a rapper, you but the girl, the girl, the girl that he was, the girl that he was, that the girl was, was, um, Who was, it? was imitating was, was one of, no, that's no, Tiger with the transvestite. No, 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 yeah, no, the transvestite yeah. was Tiger. No, this, this guy, the girl that the other girl was saying she was, was, uh, I think one of, one of Drake's ex-girls or something like that. Oh. No, one of Chris Brown's ex-girls. Oh, but still. And was you not. Got, and was just complete and Chris catfish. Brown's girl, she was, yeah. yeah she but was, you got rap groupies. You can see some 3D bitches. You ain't, you just gonna get catfished by somebody on the computer. You, you know what it is. Jeez, it's just muff. Come on, man. It's like you said. If I meet a young lady and I don't on the internet because I'm married, but <laughs> I, I, I was meet wait, somebody. did I clear my browser? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> if I meet someone, trust me, I gotta see you. Yes. I'm trying to fuck. Exactly. I don't give a fuck if you live in Chicago, bitch. I'm there doing the show Thursday. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like if I talk to them on the phone, I'd be like, "You're old as fuck." <laughs> like, 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 would you be able to tell? Like, that's an old you person. Phone. How you yeah. doing this? So thing? you want to go pick up a malt? A malt? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck gets a malt? <laughs> so I was listening to the radio. Yeah. Bitch, what? Yes. Meet me at the corner yeah. store. Ain't no goddamn corner store. Listen, I figure we. I'll take you to the sock hop if you wanted to go <laughs> hang out. The sock hop. <laughs> we gonna go down to New. <laughs> Yeah, like what is that? When we get there, you know it because my favorite song will be playing on the jukebox. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, look here, Maggie. Oh, I got a jukebox. Go. Okay, one, bring some quarters. One, what? one other thing before we go to break. Um, our guest Guy Tory has something going on. Impossible. Fat Tuesday. <laughs> yes, you bring Fat Tuesday back. Tell us about it. Nah, tell, tell about Nigga, it. Yep. Please. Well, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Fat Tuesday, as so those you don't know, was a comedy I created back in 1995 uh, at the World Famous Comedy Store. They ain't did that shit right Because, <laughs> because when, uh, when I got out here in 92, uh, after the LA riots and everything, the, the Comedy Act Theater, and Speedy knows this for sure, mm -hmm. Comedy Act Theater was the spot to go. That's where Hollywood went to see black stars. That's where the celebrities came to see black stars. When Robin Harris died, you know, it kind of fell off a little bit. But then when the riots happened, it really fell off. And industry quit coming south of Wilshire, Pico, you know, to the hood to see black comedy. Mm -hmm. So by 95, I had a few credits under my belt, had an agent manager, but I saw a lot of my friends not getting seen and not getting represented. So I went to the comedy store and said, hey, can I create a night to showcase some of my friends, a lot of untapped talent down here. So they gave me the belly room, which holds like 90 people. Uh, Speedy knows it well. I actually have footage from belly, from, uh, from, um, from, Speedy in the belly room, funny oh, as hell. Right. Oh, uh, back in the day, I'm gonna, I, I'm, with your permission, I'm gonna start posting some of that stuff. So anyway, um, <laughs> what was he wearing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know he had, a, I know he had a Kansas City Royal hat on. <laughs> Whoa, I remember that? I'm from St. Louis. Wanted to anyway. make sure I get on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Kansas City, Missouri. But anyway, this night became the night, and we moved. It's funny because it's kind of poetic. After nine months in the belly room, we outgrew the belly room and had to go into the main room. There you go. So and to the 400 seater. So that night created. Uh, such a, a, a an event where it was networking for black people. Yep. Industry came to see you know black comedians, but but also directors, producers hooked up. Uh, artists came through, and for ten years I did it from ninety five to oh five to and then I passed the torch. So what it is is like it was the only room of its kind. There was no white comedy club in the country doing an urban a room dedicated to urban yeah. anywhere in the country. Mm -hmm. So this started you know the Laugh Factory, Chocolate Sundays. It started right, right. improv doing them, and then other clubs around the country. So it's been twenty years since you know the comedy stores had an urban night in that room. Now Eddie Griffin did attempt it before I did, but it didn't. It, it, it I don't know how it didn't, didn't, it didn't last that long. But now he from St. Louis too. Right? He from Kansas City. Same. So twenty. <laughs> <laughs> so twenty years this year is when Fat Two. Days, you know, started. So, Damn. you know, I, I, you know, I'm doing a documentary on it, and mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's so important to do it because black comedy matters too. I mean, yeah. I'm not, not to take anything from Black Lives, but black comedy has been supplying Hollywood with talent for for years, yeah, yeah. and been, and been supplying these mainstream comedy clubs around the country for years keeping them afloat yeah, yeah. we make we make Without these clubs the most money so yeah. it uh it's just it's just a tribute to to all the celebrities that came through supported fat tuesdays all the comics that came through fat tuesday so i'm doing an anniversary show september 1st at club nokia downtown la live 
It's gonna be it's gonna be hot. Tickets go on sale um, Friday morning, and this is the first one. We want to attempt to do it. Can I ask um, a question? Once a month, every no, month. No, yes. you're not on it. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not on not on this one. But see, here's a thing. whoa. Hey. Here's the thing. And we so need to turn that mic off. <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance? <laughs> Thank you, guy. For no, I, no, I, absolutely. Because here's the thing. The thing what Fat <laughs> Tuesdays did was I wanted to bring the hood to Hollywood. I wanted comedian black comedians. We deserved a spot on Sunset. Yeah. And we deserved mm-hmm. to perform in the comedy store. Like if you were black and didn't have a TV show, you weren't well, really you know. guaranteed any spots at, at no. any of the white clubs on yeah. Sunset. So my thing was bring the hood to Hollywood and and let's showcase some of this untapped talent that's in the hood. Mm-hmm. Now what I did know in doing my research and doing this documentary that some of the paid regulars and unpaid regulars who were in the comedy store who were black hated the fact that I did that. Mm. Wow. And I didn't know that because sometimes we as black people are not all I'm just saying when we, get into, when, we, when we get into Crabs some in white barrel. shit we want to be the only one. Yeah. 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 And and my thing was no nah, y'all ain't gonna be the only ones. We it's a whole bunch of us. Yeah. I'm all about sharing and 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 bringing people in with me. So yeah. so that's what Fat Tuesday was all about. So now bringing it back and there's been successful rooms in the comedy store yeah. on Tuesday night after Fat Tuesdays. Not just the same, run, just though. run just run with a different energy. That's all. Right. So so now I'm bringing it to LA Live. So now I want to I want to do the same for what I did with the, with the comedy store. I want to do the same for LA Live and, and bringing comedians who wouldn't normally get to perform. Uh, you know, at Club Nokia and that and that and that venue in right. L.A. So this first show is uh first show I have, I'm hosting, of course. I got my brother. You know, I, I want to bring people who were really significant to Fat Tuesday for this first show. And that's September first. September first. Uh, it's on a Tuesday night, of course. So is but, this the lineup? No, this is the lineup here. These are these are notes for for who who, who kind of graced the stage during the years at Fat Tuesdays. The lineup is myself. I'm hosting my brother Joe Torrey, Tommy Davidson, La- Lavelle Crawford, mm. Lunell, and uh, Tony Rock. And DJ T Rex is going. That's Sounds awesome. It's going. It's going to DJ. It's some decent DJ prices. DJ D Rex. That's my yeah. boy. Well, we we we, we want to make. It, I always make Fat Tuesdays affordable for for people. Yeah. So even even on Tuesday nights, I made it affordable so people can come because black people too deserve a nice spot to go and and watch now, comedy. What in. you probably didn't know about the comedy and the comedy store is a nice club. I mean, fuck them. Uh, <laughs> is that when they did have Black Night, they raised the prices on drinks. Oh yeah, yeah. on oh, drinks. Yeah. Improv. Food. They improv Parking? used to do it. Hold on, we've got Mitzi Shore on the line. Mitzi, <laughs> so <laughs> they would all do that because they yeah, knew too. that was the night they were going to make the most money. And yeah. they knew I remember the too. improv that Monday night they had. Yeah, was clocking so hard that th- that the people in the area wanted to stop the Monday night. Oh right? yeah. And they went to court. They got a petition. They couldn't stop it because the improv was like, no, yeah. well, even, this is our money night. Yeah. Even, even with the comedy store, it's yeah. making them so much money. There yeah. were some people who, who, who were employees of the comedy store that didn't like the fact, even, you know, the, the black comedians who didn't like that we were there, mm-hmm. you know, and, 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 and there are some employees who didn't like us there. But mm-hmm. there's nothing they can do because we, Fat Tuesdays was keeping the doors and the lights on, yeah, basically. Exactly. Yeah, because it's like, you know, those special nights, especially with what you were doing, just way outsells. Any night on the main room, right. just it could, because the main room, even on Friday, Saturday, right. doesn't really sell right. out all the time. And it's no knock, it's no knock to you know the comedy store because I ain't on the front. I mean, they they were gracious enough to let us have it there, you know. And there was some issues and stuff there, but with any with any new business and stuff, there's going to be some friction. But you know, my time was up after a while, and I wanted to pass the torch. Like they were not going to let somebody else in that room. Like right. they were like, guy, if you ended it, we're not going we're yeah. not going to let gonna nobody it. else. So yeah. I, I had to call and say, look, you know, black comedians deserve. A night on sunset. Zuzer? And and huh? Zuzer? What? You didn't put the whole D in there. You oh, said oh, deserve. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they just deserve. That's that. That's that. St. Louis uh, public high education. <laughs> but no. But 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 I wanted. I wanted black. Even though I wasn't doing it anymore. Yeah. I wanted black comedians to still have that spot on Tuesday nights. And even though the Laugh Factory started their chocolate yeah. Sundays, even though there was piles to be over there that was you know crapping on the comedy store for having a black night and the improv. Yeah. It was no competition. Like, Mitch used to get mad at me because I used to say, you know, on Monday nights, you got my man Zoo Man. That's what Zoo Man was doing Monday mm-hmm. nights. You got my man Zoo Man doing, you know, more better mo- Freaky Mondays back Freaky then. Monday. Freaky Mondays. And then I was you got my man Chris Spencer. Host, but okay. You said what? I was actually the original host. <laughs> really? Yeah. For, okay, my bad, Speedy. But but but, I, but the thing about it was the thing about it was just in case history I, wants to well, I, do well, something you, on me. You, well, you know what? <laughs> I, I, didn't I, no no, I didn't call. I didn't, I didn't tell Speedy several times I need him for the documentary. You know that. <laughs> but but here's the thing though. We we supported each other. We wasn't yeah. like crapping. And we was like, yo, Sunday nights go check out Laugh Factory right. Chocolate Sunday. Monday night go check out Freaky Mondays. <laughs> yeah. So it wasn't like black people don't get along. We were supporting each other because we, I couldn't I couldn't service all the black comedians on just a Tuesday night. I right. needed I needed. Mm-hmm. 
the improv on Monday yeah, night. The I needed to, to have Factory on Sunday nights. And then Buddy Buddy Lewis and Kim Whitley started in the Valley with the Ha Ha, yeah. with Whacked Out Wednesday. So we needed each other because we, we all go to other rooms and, and, and perform anyway. So Fat Tuesday's 20-year see, reunion see, anniversary I is uh, <laughs> September 1st at Club Nokia. Uh, tickets go on sale Friday. You can go to the website. You can go to our website, FatTuesdays.com. It's up right now, P-H-A-T, and all our social media handles uh, and what's going on. But it's going to be hot. It's going to be a hot night. Let me this lineup for you again, uh, Guy Tory. Uh, on the show, we got Joe Tory. We got Guy Tory. We have, uh, where's the rest of the name? We got Speedy. We have it, uh, <laughs> Speedy will be opening for the doorman. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy Davidson. Lou Nail, who's super funny. Lavelle Crawford, who... If you could see Lavelle, Lavelle getting he's yeah, Lavelle's him. hilarious. He's clocking yeah, around. He the was country. on um, the D- nightly show the other night. I think. Oh, was he good? He was on Comedy Central. Larry, so Wimble. it's a it's a great lineup. So. My man Tony Rock is also on the show. It's September, September first, Tuesday September. night, man. And, and every watch- Tuesday after that? No, no, we're gonna do it once a month. You know, first one. This is our test one. This is our first one. This is my first big production this size. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we, we, you know, we, we, we we're, So we're the hoping, second one. The second one, we, we're going to put the lineup together, and we're going, we're going to see. No, 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 no. I'll put. The I ain't going to make no on. guarantees <laughs> right now. Hold on, nigga. We doing the lineup right now. I got partners. Hold on, nigga. Kente cloth. Cool. Scott, uh, <laughs> it's just RT. RT. Cool. RT Steckle. <laughs> you don't really need a Steckle. Uh, Speedy. It's a real easy spell. You want to Speedy do stand will up? be okay. performing Poetis. in the bathroom. Poetis will be there. Poetis is going to do a hot team. Uh, Pam, don't have the drugs. Pam. <laughs> Drug supplier, Pam. Uh, DJ Brought to you by CVS. Yes. On his phone. On his phone. No. So we, I, you know. When you think of pills, think of Pam. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Guy Tori, do our Thank fans get something special for? Absolutely. I'll come back. Absolutely, we have we have some ticket giveaways for you guys. First of all, we're gonna invite you all. Okay, cool. there you go. Well, Thank you. To get in. But actually, I'll be back before that first one. Hopefully, I can get you know Tony Rock in here and okay, Lunel, you and probably Joe as well, and we'll have some giveaways oh, yeah. for, for you. Nigga, absolutely. Let's continue on you coming back. Nigga. So, Joe, tell everybody <laughs> where they could find he said you. He's and Joe. She I heard. Oh. I saw G name. I heard Joe. I'm sorry, guy. <laughs> Where they can find you and more information. You can find me it says on Twitter at Guy Tory. Uh, you can find <laughs> Facebook at Guy Tory, Instagram at Guy Tory. But also go follow Fat Tuesdays. We post a lot of pictures from back in the day, videos we start to post back in the day, Speedy and, and Pryor and Murphy, all everybody who came through Fat Tuesdays at Fat Tuesdays. That's our Twitter at GT Fat Tuesdays. So G T at P H A T Tuesdays. Uh, on t- on all the social media sites. Do you remember at the Comedy Act long time ago? Somebody was heckling guy. <laughs> guy took a chicken bone. Oh yeah, and, oh. and threw it at him. <laughs> and I was in the back going, "Ooh." No, wait, wait. Let's tell the real story. They, they, she threw a chicken bone at me first. It, it, don't matter. You threw it back. I took it and threw it back at him. <laughs> a grenade. I remember one time at the Comedy Act. Uh, your brother Joe tried to go in on Def Jeff. Were you there that night? Yes, and Def Jeff had jokes. Def Jeff Uh-oh. killed your brother. <laughs> and he didn't even have a microphone. Cause, Cause at the time, now Joe, nigga off the cuff was not to be fucked with. But this night, <laughs> it was not Def his. Jeff said, told him said, I think he told him the one about uh, you so small, you hang, you uh, play handball against the curb. Nigga, wow, I never just, heard that one. Oh. No, he said you hang glide from a Dorito <laughs> or some shit. And the motherfuckers <laughs> ran, we ran out the motherfucker. And Def Jeff didn't have no mic, which yeah, is the hardest thing shouting, to do because yeah, the comic has yeah, a mic. Yeah, it's yeah, a rap. He had that yeah. voice, though. You know, yeah, he had that, that, yeah. that MC voice. I was yeah, there to do it. You can project it. Def Jeff was, de- I mean, definitely he was, he was funny. Def. He was Def. He was Def. <laughs> no, he was funny. He had a great uh, sense of humor. He's funny. But, um,. You said you had a story about Kente this, before you go. This nigga never forget that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, it's going to be one of the sections on, on the documentary Fat Tuesdays because you got to have your successes and your, and your failures too. Kente used to come doing Blaze Fat Tuesdays all the time. But this one particular oh, night. Oh, nigga, yes. This one particular night, I was doing Def Jam yes. auditions, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was doing Def Jam auditions. And uh, Kente was up there, and Kente was blazing him for the first, what, three, four minutes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. blazing him. And then he went into a joke. About Muhammad Ali. Yeah. And and one of Muhammad Ali's Silence daughters, fell daughters, across was, the was, land. She was one of my hostesses. Yes. My, like, May used to know. come, but then Hana was one of my hostesses. Yeah. He did a joke, and it was right, it was just too soon. Yeah. And he did this joke about Muhammad Ali. When I say- What was the joke? He Nigga, died. I in, said- I said, because it was right after he did the Olympics. The Olympics tour. And right. I said, he was up there shaking so bad, he was about to burn down the whole damn stadium. Them niggas went, ha ha! They shut. What? Me. what? <laughs> when I, when I, no, 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 let me explain it. 
when I say they shut down like the Batmobile, they, 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 they shut down. And then not only that, though, I explained this. It was a backdraft book. You ever seen the movie Backdraft? Yeah. Where the, the, the fire starts it in the back and the boo, yeah. the boo started in the back of the room yes. and rolled to the front of the room where the curtains on stage was even like blowing yeah. in the boo wind. I mean, and, every time, and I'm sorry, but every time, Real as cut. funny as Kente is, as many great sets I've seen them have, that one hey, set it just will didn't always play. be I told, memorable. I told uh, my comedy uh, boot camp about that shit last night. I was like, you will take an L. Man, you that was going to the L. That was nice. <laughs> so let me tell you. I was walking off stage. People was like, dead man walking. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Niggas I, was crying for me. For the first time in all the years I was doing Fat Tuesdays, I, I wish I had a trap door on stage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so boom. Bam. I was like, well, damn, let's finish it up. So does okay. Kente. Kente. I was that's like, true. damn, they just don't not stop booing, huh? Y'all they, keep they on boo. booing. And, and I heard you was on your way to, to, the, to your car in the parking lot. They were still booing. <laughs> on your, you had drive-by boo. <laughs> boom! I, I turned on the radio. My radio. Oh, boo me. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, his car was like, your, your door three. is a boo. So, <laughs> so you had no comeback for that. Oh, you can't. No, no. Because no literally, like, like I said, it's, they were laughing at first in the front. And I didn't know. I didn't know Muhammad Ali's daughter was there nothing. It started in the back. In the boo draft. And it, and it started like real, <laughs> real low. And by the time it got here, I was like, shit, this niggas is booing hard. Oh, that's loud. Yeah. That, that is a that, loud that, boo. That, that night he was everybody's boo. Look, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And as a comic, you like, uh, all right, y'all crazy. Uh, uh, yeah. So, yeah. You ever be running? Y'all stop it now. Yeah. Boo those yeah. boo. They were like, boo your next joke and your next Speedy, set. Speedy, have you ever been booed? No. Not like that. Booed. I think. But I was at uh, Improv Hope. Hosting. <clears throat> I was hosting an improv and Queen Latifah was in the back chilling. So Queen's there and uh Shang was going up. Oh. So Shang Shang does a joke about uh he this girl he, he was talking about somebody and they was more mannish than Queen. So he's he's killing. Mm -hmm. He's killing in the beginning and he going to this Queen Latifah joke and the room shut down. Like like you said, like somebody turned the car off. <laughs> And then as a comic, <laughs> Ran anytime, out of batteries. anytime the room shuts down on your joke, either yeah. somebody's done the joke or something's yeah. up. Yeah. 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 So as a comic, yeah. yes. you tell a joke and the motherfuckers don't laugh on cue and you know, this is my killer joke. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so you know, uh, and so he doubled down on the Queen Latifah shit. But Queen's in the back with all her people. That's what it is. And then, so he's like, he don't see her and then somebody went, he kept going and he's like, oh, so what y'all trying to say? Somebody said, bitch, Queen is in the building. <laughs> <laughs> And, and he went whoopsie daisy and motherfucker went yeah so um <laughs> y'all take care so, uh, so, so, he, so Dana <laughs> so, so he walks off stage I, so I'm hosting so set it off anyway I love that movie great film should have been nominated you never should have been nominated I come on stage and in my mind I'm like gotta fix this so I yeah, go on stage yeah, yeah. the first thing I said was I want to make sure y'all get this right. Uh, Queen, I love the same thing you love. Make more power to you. Let's move on with the show. No. Everybody start laughing. Because, you know, you like Buzzy. I like Buzzy. I don't give a fuck. Uh, and, and that's the thing that people don't realize as a, as a host, as you a gotta good bring host, you got to be a good host. You got to be able yeah. to bring the room back after yeah. those, those. After boot, boot yeah, yeah, yeah. After, yeah. after yeah. the funeral. Yeah. And Rod, that happened to Rodney Perry one time at Fat Tuesdays. Rodney Perry came on. I saw him in the Bay Area. Rodney was, was funny. I brought him at Fat Tuesdays. And Rodney Perry, when I say he, he died the death of a thousand dogs, <laughs> but then Rodney Perry, but this is the thing, it was interesting what happened. Rodney Perry had this own a blazer on, right? Like a corduroy blazer with patches on the elbow, right? So Rodney, P I went professor, back. Professor, so I came Jeff. back out. I said, I said, dude, my, my boy is funny, y'all. I'm telling you right now, he's funny. Y'all wasn't booing him. Y'all was booing that Benverine ass jacket. <laughs> so, 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 so I said, I'm going to go back and I'm going to bring him back out and, and, and just give him another chance. I know this dude is funny. So I went back in between the curtains at the comedy store in the main room. I said, Ronnie, take that bullshit jacket off, yeah. man. I said, I snatched it off of him. I said, now, I'm going to reintroduce you. Now, you come back out. So I came back out, reintroduced him. Rodney did like he said, man, I came back out, did one big joke, got that laugh and got the hell off stage. He was the only person for me to, to get booed, to be reintroduced, and then and then have and have a killer joke after that. So you it know, worked. You can't come back. Yeah. Welcome to the stage, yeah. Robert Guillaume, everybody. Robert Guillaume. <laughs> <laughs> Benson <laughs> in the building. We're going to take a quick break. And thank, thank you, Guy, you guy for coming to hang yeah. out guy with Tory. us. Um, we'll be right back. If you have, we, we throw out the question of the day still? Question of the day, roommate oh, yeah. horror, horror stories. stories. Yes. Yes. The number to call into is 323-293-3375. Oh, get oh, out of here. Coming up, we got psychic. <laughs> Give me a pill, bitch. We'll be right back. <laughs>